If you're providing API services to your customers and partners, building a secure and a great developer and customer experience is absolutely key. You want a great adoption, easy way for people to discover and find your services, and you and your customers obviously want to have a lot of benefits getting access and start using them. So this video, we'll be exploring how we can build a secure and most importantly, a great customer experiences for your API services. So wearing the API provider hat, I'm going to be coming in here to an API that I want to expose to my customers called Track My Parcel. So it gives my customers access to interact with a parcel trackment and maybe ordering of new parcels through my APIs. So one of the first things I might be doing is determining how I'm going to get access for my API customers to access this. So in this situation, I've created two plans. So there are basically different ways and contracts that people can subscribe and access my service. So I have an open plan that allows everyone to use this service, but I also have a gold plan that I've configured here with an API key authentication. I can give it different characteristics. I can decide how people are accessing this. And then what I can do is I can apply different traffic shaping and rules based on how my API is being accessed. So maybe if you're accessing this API using an open plan, I'm going to be rate limiting you so that I'm preventing you from accessing all the services or at least the consumption of what you might be getting if you're a subscribed customer using the gold play. And regardless of what you're using in this situation, I'm going to say that I'm always want to convert the data from JSON, uh, sorry, from XML, which is the data format that my service actually is exposed as, but the consumer should be receiving it as JSON data because that's typically what they want the format to be. So that's what, how I've configured it. Now, documentation is also very important for my consumers to understand how to interact with the service. So I might be providing something like an open API specification uh, that people can try out and, and, and play around with in the developer portal to understand what uh, they can do with this service. But I might also provide different use cases examples, for example, to give more real world examples of, of, of how to actually engage with my service. It's obviously incredibly important as well to determine how you define access to users. So maybe you have multiple enterprise systems and you need to set up different authentication systems that the user will be using to signing in and, and viewing what APIs are available. Maybe it is, that is Active Directory, a Kerberos system, or any other identity provider. Applying different group mapping and role mapping so you can control what users across what roles that you can customize and give exact permissions based on who they are get access to your API. Now, when you integrate uh, different services in the life cycle of your APIs, you might need to have support ticket systems. You might need to have ability for notifications internally to your CRM system or Sendesk system, whatever it might be. When a cons consumer or customer have subscribed, raised a ticket, um, asked for the API to um, subscription to be reviewed, whatever it might be, it's important for you to maybe engage and interact with other enterprise systems as part of the life cycle. Now, the focus of this demonstration here is talking about the developer portal. So creating categories to define how the API should be interacted with and what the developer portal looks like is obviously incredibly important. Now, in this situation at Acme, we have a developer portal here for our consumers to come in and sign in with different authentication providers uh, view different categories of APIs. In my case, maybe the um, shipment category contains this parcel tracking API. I can discover how other users might have rated this API if they've had success with it. I might, again, view the documentation, whether that is something like an open API specification or viewing specific use case documentation to understand how specifically to use this API. Maybe I would need to raise a support ticket for my application uh, to the API provider if I have more questions or feedback. And of course, I need to be able to understand what are the different um, contracts and access plans that I can be subscribing to. Um, and once I've done that, it's important for me to be able to manage all the subscriptions that my applications have. Maybe I'm subscribing to multiple APIs, not only the parcel tracking API. I need to retrieve my API keys. I need to retrieve my OAuth credentials. Maybe I need to add other members of my organization to get access to this API, to be able to consume it, to view analytics, whatever it might be. Viewing analytics and logs is also important for me. Maybe I have 
SLAs that I need to adhere to and I expect my API provider to deliver a particular SLAs to me. Uh, so maybe I'll just receive alerts, notifications, whatever it might be. Now, regardless of you exposing API services using a developer portal like this or embedded into your CRM and the rest of your website, having a secure experience where you can be flexible in how the data is exposed to different customers and partners with different subscription and access plans and with great documentation and understanding of how to consume and adapt your API is absolutely key to build a great and secure developer experience.